yes what's up guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make a beat for king madi so king madi just released this song um only featuring puju benson so i heard the song and i was like this song is so chill and very 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 calm yeah, so i was thinking you know the first thing you want to do with the kind of beat like this is not do too much you know i heard the beat i was so surprised like there was nothing really going on on the beat just the vocals she had the vocals and everything so sometimes you guys don't really need to put too much stuff when you're making your beats just a basic chord progression a basic drum groove and find an artist that can sing very well and that's always the key thing so i'll play the beat for you that i made then i'll you know break it down so it sounds like this I know the beat sounds very 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 basic probably nothing is going on here i won't try to add my vocals there <laughs> so you guys can get the feeling but i don't even know how to sing find the basic chord progression and the beats on codify if you don't know how to find chords of a song just use this website called codify.net search up the song and you see the chords that they use in the song. So I don't, I'm not going to play this song because of copyright. And if you also want to learn how to use chord progressions, if you want to learn or study chord progressions from hit songs, you can just come to the site. They will show you the chords that they use for the for the songs, you know. So they're using just, she's using basically just three chords, um, you know, for the chord progression. She's going like, I don't think it's exactly the same thing, but she's going from six, four, six, five. So just... Three chords. There's some changes here and there, but you know, but that's just basically the chord. You can pick those chords and just make it very mellow. So I picked the first sound, Lounge Lizard, sounds like this. So I'm just playing like the, the root notes from the lower octave. So you can find the basic six five four chord progression. Seems these days, um, a lot of songs that have been around the six five four chords that I've been showing in my previous videos. Then all you just have to do is when you find that chord progression, just layer the sounds. I added this piano too. Like the probably the busiest thing on the beats is the drums. Then you can add you know melodies here and there just to support the the vocals. It's just a basic string from expand solo violin and added a bit of a rep on it like i said the, the most complicated thing is probably the drums but you, the drums are even very simple it sounds like a very basic dancehall pattern you know very very simple then layer the drums very 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 simple that's it then you know the other thing i added was just a hi-hat just to give it that bounce on the groove so the hi-hat so you can mess around with the velocities so it's not so all the drums together sounds like this And I added a bit of shakers to it to get that groove. So it's not just so empty. Then I added this shaker too from my steel kit for him too. And I just give that that dance all vibes. If you've listened to Love and Wicked, you know what I'm talking about. There's this dance all vibes with the drums that they do. But the melodies are very, very, very basic. 
then I added one more thing to the bass just to make it a bit you know more interesting the bass sounds like this just playing chords but I'm adding one thing I'm doing I'm adding some rolls to the bass you know just to give it that unique sound so that's all I did with it. Everything is very, very simple. And the last progression I used also from Expand, you know, you just have to find ambient pads or ambient blocks, something that just had like a lot of reverb to it. This is kind of too bright for this kind of beat. You know, but it can work. You can add an EQ to cut out the brightness. So if I play the whole beat, like if you listen to the song, very, very, very simple song, nothing crazy going on there. Now let's listen to the whole beat. Obviously, with the arrangement, so you don't want to add all these elements here. This is probably mostly like the chorus part. You know, with the verse, you might take out some of this. You know, you might switch out the the pianos. Maybe you come in with the mellow piano, or you switch up to like a softer piano. Take out this part too. And maybe you get away with some of the shakers. Maybe add the hi hats. You know, just to make the arrangement make more sense. So let me play with my vocals just so you see like there's not so much stuff going on when you have once you have good vocals the whole bit is gonna make sense um, mind you guys i don't know how to sing before you guys bash me <laughs> i don't know how to sing so part of my poor singing but yeah let's go i'm just craving somebody's baby let me know if you'll be my baby I'm just craving this you be my I'm just craving this you be my So with the vocals, I'm not doing too much with the vocals. Like I said, reverb, EQ, that's it. Like let me show you my my vocal chain. I always use NS1 to take out the noise from my mic. This is not even the proper mixing, but the basic thing I did, I did auto tune because my singing is very poor. EQ to cut out the bass, the low end. Then I sent it to a channel that has ears reverb on it. That was all I did, guys. That was for the for the backup. I just mostly added more EQ to cut out more of the low end. Then I sent more reverb to it. I think I don't think I sent reverb on the main channel, but on the vocal channel, the backup vocals. That's this one you're hearing. It's just reverb that's doing all that space. So yeah, guys, catch you guys on the next one. Listen to the song if, not, if you've not heard it. King Madi is fire. I'll probably make more King Madi type beats. Yeah, so catch you guys on the next one.